Welcome to Kibera News Network School Show. On today's edition, well, I'll be taking you through the transformation of Kibera Girls Soccer Academy. Stay with me. Kibera Girls Soccer Academy was started in the year 2006. So before that, we had a soccer team for girls. We used to be, it used to be known as Girls Soccer in Kibera. So they used to play soccer, football during that time, around 2002 to 2006. I knew KGSA through soccer. So I used to be one of the girls that were playing soccer. That is by then, back in the year 2006. Then after my graduation in the fourth year, I felt like it was necessary for me to volunteer at the school. That is when I came in as a teacher. Then in two years, I was promoted as the principal. Most of the soccer players who were playing that time were not able to go beyond primary school of education. So we thought of starting a school for them uh, so that they could uh, like, uh, uh, come and spend time during the day at the school, then in the evening they go and train. So that's why uh, uh, the name Kibera Girls Soccer Academy was born, because we thought now being a school, we thought we could introduce academy in the name. At the initial stages, the previous years, the most challenge was getting qualified teachers because during that time, it was hard for, to, get, to get qualified teachers, not because they were not available, but they were available, but they were not able to volunteer. They were not ready to volunteer because we didn't have money to pay the teachers at that, uh, those previous years. But through the KJSF Foundation, which is a foundation based in the US, it was started by the first intern that came to intern to our school. When they went back to America, they formed a foundation. So the foundation fundraises on behalf of Kibera Girls Soccer Academy. So through the foundation, we have been able to, we are able to pay teachers right now. So we have qualified teachers. The journey has been very smooth while I've been teaching through KJSA because I've been able to see some of the girls that I've taught right away from Form 1 up to Form 4 graduating to university and also some of them being able to change their families. Currently we have 100, 130 girls and we know that we can be able to help more than 130 girls but the main challenge is space. In Kibera there's a challenge of space of uh, constructing more classrooms to help to have more more students on board. So as the principal of KGSA, I feel like it was very important to accommodate the girls in the boarding facility. So this will help the girls to overcome the challenges that they are facing in their homes. And also it will give the girls enough space for their studying, being that most of the girls are coming from very small homes. I'm happy also the, the community has also impressed like uh, the boarding facility, especially they, they are saying that the design is good, the, the, boarding, the, boarding build, the building was built professionally, so they're really liking it. It's been a humble transformation from humble beginnings. We did. A lot of girls have had their lives changed. I joined the school when I was in Form 2 and I particularly decided to come to this school because by that time my mom had some difficulty in paying school fees so I identified the school for having a, a, for being uh, being one of the schools that is having girls only that is that was one thing that was interesting about the school just like they say if you educate a woman it's like educating the whole community like educate a man the man will only consider his family alone so two reasons during that time Girls, most girls were not being educated because maybe parents prefer educating their boy children or maybe the parents were not able to afford to educate them. Although it has changed nowadays, I can see more girls being educated. So we realized that girls are very vulnerable in our community and also girls are being looked down upon by the society. That is why we thought of starting a, starting a school that will promote a girl child and there's also need for the girl child to support their families. I personally am a beneficiary of the boarding facility and it's a good thing that has happened to the school and it's a big change that is still being assimilated by the students. We now have a DH that is shared by both the boarders and the day scholars and uh, yeah, that's, that's the biggest change I've seen. In this particular school, we believe that students are not supposed to be measured with the examination. So normally at the school, we offer photography we also offer computer, we have tailoring, we have catering, we have drama, then we also have the art club. I've been uh, lucky to have staff members who work here 
they don't do it because of how much they earn, they do it because of the passion. They want to help the girls in, at Kibera Girls Soccer Academy. Kuna beauty. Uh, wow. I've grown uh, uh, in confidence. When I first came to this school, I was not that confident as I am right now. Our school performance is, has been fairly okay because in Kibra sub-county, when you check the performance, our school normally is rated position three or position four. So we've been having 30% of the girls moving to university and also 40% going through the diploma courses or tertiary courses. Well, I'll say that KGSA is the best place for one to be either as a teacher or as a student because we've had very many girls going through the system and they've managed to become successful. Then I'll also say that for all people that are supporting KGSA, thank you very much. And I would like, them, I'd like to make them feel like whatever support that they're giving to the institution, so that support is worth because it, it is making a difference in the life of individuals within Kibra. Thanks for being with me to the end of this show. Let's catch up again next week as we will be visiting a different school. For Kiberanese Network, I'm Evelyn Awar. Bye-bye.